I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Denying yourself, taking up your cross, what does this mean? That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. If you love our videos, if you love what we're doing in Higher Things, passing the faith to the next generation, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube, YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications. Did you hear anything, buddy? and donate. Your tax-deductible gift keeps Higher Things, a youth organization that spent the last 20 years doing conferences and passing on the faith to the next generation. In a year that we can't do those physical conferences, you will help us keep a rolling. We came upon this in Bible study, Tuesday Bible study, and we've been doing a live Bible study every, two, every Monday through Saturday at 2 p.m. Uh, it it's on our uh, Facebook channel um, at 2 p.m. Central Time, but it also gets posted in its entirety on YouTube. But we came across this verse in, in Matthew a couple of weeks ago. If anyone would follow after me, would come after me, let him put away himself, take up his cross, and follow me. Whoever finds his life will lose it. Whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his life? Or what shall a man give in exchange of his, to his life? Remember, the context of this was Peter's great confession, followed by Peter's great antichrist moment. He confesses, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. That confession didn't come from him. Flesh and blood did not reveal this to you, but my father who is in heaven. And then Jesus begins to speak about how he's going to suffer and die. He begins to tell him what it means that he's the Christ. I'm going to suffer and die for your sins and the sins of the whole world. And Peter rebukes him. Not That's not going to happen to you. He had a heart full of love. He, he, he didn't want that for Jesus, or that didn't fit his definition of Christ. Either way, he rebuked, Peter rebuked Jesus. And that causes Jesus to say, get behind me, Satan. And brings us to our text. Whoever would follow after me would... Uh, deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. So to deny yourself in this proper context is to deny what you think, feel, and know about God. It's to deny that you think that God is this way or that way and submit, let your mind be sort of formed and shaped by the word of God. Jesus, the being the Christ, means that he will suffer and die for me. God loves me in the giving up of his son. It's not checking your mind at the door. It's understanding that he, the Lord's words and promises trump what you think, feel, and know on your own. Because what you think, feel, and know, like Peter, is sort of slanted, skewed by your sin. Your sin makes what you think, feel, and know not something that you can rely on. And so to deny yourself is to put away what you think and feel about salvation and life and trust only in the suffering and death of Jesus. That's the cross that you take up to follow him. Whoever finds his life and looks for his life loses it. Trying to have a life on your own apart from Christ ends in the utter deathness of hell. But deny yourself, lose your life, not Physically, but I got nothing other than you, Jesus. Lose your life for his sake, and you will find eternal life in him. To deny yourself, to take up your cross, is to deny what you think, feel, and know, and trust only in the promise of the gospel from Jesus. Your cross is not that you have bad things happen in your life or someone, some things don't go your way. That's not your cross. Your cross is to tell the devil, the world, and your sinful nature, everything you think, feel, and know, that you're going to let Jesus, you're going to let Jesus tell you about salvation and hope and eternal life. Take up your cross, deny yourself, and follow him. I'm Pastor George Borkart and Thor, and this has been another Higher Things video short.